Hey y'all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, I'm gonna open up this mystery box of reef aquarium goodies. All right, guys, thank you for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reefs. And this one should be a little bit of fun because I've got this uh, mystery box of reef aquarium goodies in front of me here that came from the uh, mysteries of the internet. Now, not quite that uh, mysterious. It was from a company called Aquatic Exclusive in Singapore who reached out to me and said, hey, we love your channel. We'd love for you to focus some of our products on your channel, to which I went, yeah, look, I don't know, guys. And I'm like, no, 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 please, please. Can we send you some things for you to have a look at and see if you like them and put them on your channel? To which I eventually said, sure, why not? What could be the worst? And they said, have a look at our website and see what you would like to do a review on. Now, just to make things a little bit interesting at this point, I said, you know what? Surprise me, send me some things. I have no idea what's in this box. We're gonna open it up together, have a look at these range and um, let you guys decide whether you need any of these products or not in your reef aquarium world. So. Um, Bear with me, I'll get a knife and we'll rip this box open. All right, now as I am opening up this box, I should point out that Aquatic Exclusive can ship worldwide. I'm located here in Australia, there in Singapore. This got here in about a week, so I'm sure you could get it anywhere in the world. And uh, the team told me that they are quite capable of shipping all around the world and um, I don't deny it. So it's a decent sized box, I've got to say. I don't know how long this video will go for because there um, could be all sorts of things in here. Okay, okay. All right, we got some interesting things. All right, we'll start off with some basic obvious things. They have their own range of glue. We'll check that out in a minute and see how thick it is, whether it holds things well or not. But it, to be honest, it's probably a pretty, uh, pretty similar cyanacrylate based glue that we use in a lot of uh, fragging and stuff. To go hand in hand with uh, the fragging glue, we've got some pretty wicked looking uh, bone cutters here. Now I must admit these, ooh, these do look nice. Make sure you don't cut your finger off. Great, aquatic exclusive branding on them. They've got a uh, sort of a gunmetal gray finish to them, which I know all of these sort of fragging tools have some sort of uh, coating on them so that they don't rust. They still rust, so um, you should rinse them off in uh, fresh water, RO or even tap water when you finish using them. You can even put some uh, coconut oil on the uh, joins and stuff there, which is obviously food safe and gonna be safe in your reef tank and that will also help them stop getting bound up. But uh, they look quite good. I also like this little, um, well, that's not gonna last very long, this little cover there to stop them from uh, pulling apart, but we'll sit there as a side. Uh, next up, something I probably won't use so much, but uh, we've got some media bags, still super handy if you wanna just run a course of a particular media, particularly something like a carbon, um, even a purigen or something like that you wanna put into your tank in very short notice. You don't wanna to have to run plumbing and set up pumps and find power outlets. You need to get that media in your tank quickly. This media bag's gonna do the trick. All right, with a few of the small items out of the way, I can now see two, or I guess technically three items in the box, which is super interesting and unique, or as far as I've seen, to Aquatic Exclusive. Now, the first one is these aquarium gloves, and um, you can see by the size of the box, we're talking pretty legitimate gloves here. So let me get them out of the box and we can have a look. <laughs> wow. I might be a uh, regional-based guy, but I've never done any farming, and um, I imagine this is what, uh, some farmers would use when they're trying to uh, potentially help their uh, livestock uh, get into the breeding habit perhaps, but uh, this is a legit glove. I think I've got it on the right hand. Oh. Now I do have exceptionally large hands whenever I buy gloves or anything, which I have to be honest, not all that often. I always try to get double XL. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, these are a tight fit, but uh, They do go right up to your shoulder. That's gonna make it easy if you reach into your tank, go all the way down, reach your sand bed without, um, without getting any of the contaminants on your hands or arms, clothes, any of that in your tank. Assuming that there are no contaminants on the gloves, of course, but um, I guess if nothing else, it's gonna keep your arm dry if you need to reach in your tank and get something out. Now, you do get two gloves. To be honest, I don't know if you're gonna to wanna to double fist this. It's probably, if you're gonna wear a glove like this, you're probably gonna to wanna to go in with just one arm and keep your other arm free. But um, should you want to, you can load up with a left glove as well. And um, I get it's a pretty niche product, but uh, I can still see a use case for this. And as far as I can tell, they're not super expensive. And I'm one of those things that you put in the cupboard for that rainy day that you may or may not use on your reef tank. 
up to you. Whew, getting them off is going to be fun. Might just turn them inside out and um, now that I've got them off my arm, we'll turn them back around the other way. Full on. All right, let's put these gloves aside because I think probably the most practical thing to come, and I can tell from what's written on the box here, is something that's super, super neat. Aquatic Exclusive do some very nice dosing containers and they've got a little trick up their sleeve. But before I get to the trick, let's get these uh, containers out. Whew. All right, firstly, it's quite a neat small footprint, two liter dosing container. It also has provisions for a float switch to go down the bottom there. I'll make sure I get some close-ups so you can see that. So if you're running an aquarium controller or you're running some smart things like a reef factory level sensor, you can put your float switch in there. You've even got a little uh, plug up here to run your cabling through so that you can get notifications when your dosing values are actually empty and not just rely on your dosing pump's calculated volume remaining, which is super, super cool. And of course you get two in the set. I should also point out that they do have a very nice little uh, tube that goes right down to the bottom of the container and then has a very tidy little angle cut on it just to make sure that uh, you're going to get all of that fluid out of the uh, container but it's also not going to clog up if there is a tiny little bit of sediment that hasn't mixed in properly. In here we do get the lids, some nice bright red tubing and then uh, some screws which I'm curious on. Why would we need screws? I assume because of whatever's in this piece. Okay, this looks like a nice little uh, neat holder for them. Let's put the lids on them. Still not seeing what the uh, screws are for, but unless there's a way to mount this. Nope, not that I can see. Ah, there is some threaded holes on the side there, interesting. Super cute little uh, lids for them. They've got little breather holes drilled into the top. Uh, and this nice red, bright red dosing line fits neatly on there. Let's you run that to your doser and then the tube goes right down the bottom. Super, super cool. But uh, I did touch on that it does have some screw holes here and I'm not 100% certain what they're for. There is one more thing in the box, which um, let me consolidate a little bit of packaging here. This is the part that I was super keen slash hoping that they would send me because as far as I could tell, it was the most unique thing on their uh, website. Not that it's never been done before, but it just is a really nice, neat solution. Instead of using this uh, little mount here that you could uh, sit somewhere, you can got the holes here so you could mount that into your cabinet in the corner, do whatever you like with it. You can substitute it out for this bad boy here which still gives you the mount, but it also gives you the ability to stir the solutions in there. We do get two of the largest uh, magnetic stirring pills I've ever seen before. They sit nicely in there. We get a power supply, which does have a uh, UK plug on it. I think that's a UK plug on it. So I'm gonna need to substitute that one out. It is a 12 volt power supply, which is great. I've got heaps of those laying around and it looks to be a standard connector on the back. And of course, then you're going to put that on a timer because you're probably not going to stir these solutions 24 seven, but uh, you might have it turn on for one or two minutes every hour just to keep your solutions nicely suspended so that you're not dosing either solid powder at the bottom or just uh, undiluted RO. So I'm pretty keen to get some solutions in these, test them out and we'll see whether they're actually any good or they just look cool. Just before I go uh, putting the magnetic stirrers on, I think I should point out that I've worked out what uh, the little screws and the uh, countersunk holes are for. It's for joining multiples of these together, which is really clever. You got a countersink on one side, which allows you to bolt through, then you got a thread on the other side. Now, the one downside to this I've seen is that for some reason, the uh, standard that they've used for the standard uh, holders and the magnetic ones are opposite. So on this side, I've got two threadless connectors and then on the outsides I've got two threaded connectors so even if I try to bolt them on this side I've got no countersinks and if I try to bolt them on this side 
I've got um, no threads. The only way I can make it work is if I uh, put one on backwards and do it up like that, which isn't gonna work because you've got uh, two holes here and one hole there. But I'm sure if you had two of the doses or two of, or sorry, two of the uh, magnetic stirrers or two of just the brackets that the, uh, the countersinking would be on the correct side. Of course, you could always uh, countersink these or add some threads yourself, but um, it's one downside I have come across out of the box. All right, so I've got some power hooked up to this uh, automatic stirrer doser combo, and I've got uh, some magnesium here and some alkalinity here. They're the two I've chosen because I do go through both of them quite a lot, but I tend to find alkalinity be a lot easier to mix. It's both a finer powder and there's a lot less of it compared to the uh, magnesium, which is a pretty chunky uh, crystal, and there's considerably, in fact, in this case, 10 times the amount of it that's gonna be mixed in. So um, we've got power turned on, we've got the stirrers in there. Let's uh, crank them on. You do have these little adjustable knobs on the front there. I'm gonna start them off pretty low because I don't know how fast we really need to stir them, but uh, let's start off with the uh, fairly easy to mix alkalinity solution. And I've got to say, it's done a pretty good job even on slow speed. I think it's going to speed it up a bit. To mix that in quite nicely. But like I said, that is the easier of the two solutions to mix. Maybe we'll crank this one up a little bit on this side. Which obviously the faster you go, the more noise they make, but I wouldn't describe them as noisy. We've got quite nice uh, turbid water in there at the moment. So let's tip these magnesium crystals in. Yeah, nice, they're getting mixed in quite well. I apologize for uh, crouching down behind these, but I wanted to get the camera nice and close so you could see them stir up easily. And uh, they're doing the job quite nicely. Now I should point out that I don't believe this device is designed to run the uh, stir motors continuously. I do highly recommend you put them on a timer just to run like this for a couple minutes, an hour at tops, maybe even a few minutes a day. Once you've got your solution stirred, it's not gonna take a lot to keep it suspended, but um, it's still pretty cool. In fact, that magnesium's mixing in really nicely. I'm gonna add some more in. Let's chuck the whole lot in. Pop the lid back on and um, we'll let it do its thing. All right, while we're waiting for that to mix up, I just thought I'd check out the glue, which I have to say the boxes came a little bit squashed, but uh, the glue looks to be intact. They are these uh, foil style uh, tubes, which some people love, some people don't. You have to pierce the lid, but uh, one mistake I made there is you need to take that little collar off first. Then when you screw that lid down, it will pierce the foil on the top and you're good to use the glue. Now, I'm doing a voiceover after the fact here because um, I wanted to point out just how thick this glue is. It is by far the thickest CA glue I've ever used. I actually thought that the uh, the tube or the, the tip of the tube was clogged because you can see here, I was having to squeeze it with both hands to get some out. And uh, believe it or not, eventually I got some out and it was almost like one of those 3D pens that uh, melt glue as you go, or even a glue gun that um, you could almost vertically stack that glue up. It was so, so thick, but uh, I guess that's gonna suit some people or some applications and not other people in other applications. But uh, I definitely think I will find a use case for this and um, you can see here when we put the second tile on there that it just sticks on holds its place really well and without any sort of accelerant or anything like that it is glued in place very quickly even with me dropping it on the bench that glue is set super impressed all right i've given these dosing containers five minutes of runtime now and you can see that they have completely mixed in the alkalinity obviously mixed in quite quickly. I mean, it's an easy to mix solution, but the magnesium, particularly at the uh, 10 times strength that I run it at, normally takes quite a little bit of uh, stirring. And I'm quite impressed that uh, this solution here that's designed just to keep the uh, solution suspended has been able to mix that from scratch. So I'm quite comfortable knowing that moving forward that if this is to run for a minute or two every few hours, it's gonna keep those solutions nicely suspended and ensure that my dosing pumps don't clog up. Very, very impressive. All right, guys, there you have it. That is my overview and unboxing of my uh, unexpected Reef Internet Mysterious box of goodies. Now, 
I have to say I was pleasantly blown away by a few things in this uh, delivery. First and foremost, I think the glue was something that um, I probably had the lowest expectations of when I opened it up out of the box, but uh, it is by far the thickest coral glue I've seen on the planet. Now, it doesn't say that it actually is the thickest, but it's by far at least twice as thick as any other coral glue I've come across. Now, that doesn't mean it's gonna be the best glue out there for every use case, but um, I can think of heaps of use cases where I want a very, very thick glue and um, the speed at which it's set and uh, the ease of use, apart from squeezing it out of the tube, which took two hands, was actually really high. So huge tick in my books to their aquarium glue. And um, I guess I'll see over the coming weeks and months whether it keeps holding, but I think it should be pretty good. Some of the other things that were a big surprise were the dosing containers. I knew they looked like good quality on their pictures and I had seen the Reef Builders article on them a, a number of weeks ago. I can confirm that they're a fantastic bit of kit. In fact, I just think that's the standard for dosing containers in 2022. Magnetic stir bars in them just make sense to keep those solutions suspended and well mixed so you get a good consistent dose. If you are going the dosing routine or path, which um, I know a lot of us do, even people like myself that run calcium reactors and calculus are still run dosing for some solutions. And I think having that well mixed just makes sense. And having that in something neat and tidy like that, who could say no? Some other slightly more niche and unusual products, obviously um, a big uh, smile on my face from the, what I call the cow insemination gloves. I, I must admit, I'm not sure how much use I'll find out of them. I know some people out there that would like to go head first into their fragging and uh, maintenance on their reef tanks are gonna think those things are the best things in sliced bread. All the more power to you guys, but for me, they were a little bit of a novelty and um, I will probably enjoy uh, playing pranks on my mother-in-law, putting those gloves on and walking around the house. So we'll see how we go with those in the future, but I should point out that uh, all of these items are available to purchase. The team are actually looking for some distributors in different parts of the world, including Australia. If you are looking to either be a distributor or just a retail purchaser, head to the website links down below. There's actually two different websites, one which shows the range of products that the team make themselves under aquatic exclusive brand. And then there is Reef Market SG website, which is where you can purchase. One word of warning or heads up, I guess, the website is designed for the Singapore market. So all prices listed there are in Singaporean dollars. For my Australian viewers, that's a pretty close to a one-to-one -one, uh, translation there. I think $30 uh, in Singapore dollars, it worked out to be about $32 Australian. So we're talking pretty close to parity there. However, I will point out that uh, the team have informed me that if you are outside of Singapore, they absolutely can post to you, but you will need to email them to get your order through because their website is only built to handle domestic orders. So I'll put all of that information in the description down below to make sure you guys can get your hands on some of these weird and wonderful but also really cool products from aquatic exclusive all right guys i will wrap things up there i hope you enjoyed the video if you've got any more weird or unusual or left field aquarium uh, products or devices that you'd like me to review put myself through the uh the torture test i guess first before you can decide whether you need to buy it as a must have for your reef tank or just a gimmick i'm more than happy to take on some fun videos like this on this channel because um hey it's always good to break up the serious videos with a bit of a laugh now and then if you did enjoy the video please do give it a thumbs up if you've got any questions comments feedback anything at all pop it in the comments section down below i do personally reply to each and every comment there so it is the best way to get hold of me and if you're yet to join the channel we're over 22 2,000 subscribers now, and I'd love to get you on board, see if we can push for 30,000. Just that button in the bottom corner there takes two seconds of your time, it costs no money whatsoever. Anyway guys, I will leave you at that. I've gotta go put my insemination gloves on and get uh, doing some work on my reef tank here. Till next time, stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers, bye.